So, Hannah, you came here um, to see us for a breast enlargement. What research had you done before? I'd been to a couple of other surgical groups beforehand. I went to one that was outside of Sheffield, and then I'd had a look online for a, a couple of others. And it was until I'd been to one of them that I decided maybe here was the right place for me. Originally, I went to one that was quite all about how I was going to look and wasn't that medical and that particularly put me off. So I wanted to go somewhere that made me feel a bit more comfortable in myself. Okay, how did you end up coming to see us then? A recommendation of my mum's friend and I also came to the open evening. When I came to the open evening, I got to see a couple of surgeons and it solidified why I chose you to be my surgeon. Okay, I think one important point was you were interested in looking very natural and um, you knew that we offered teardrop implants or round implants. What did you choose in the end? Teardrop. Okay, and did the other surgical groups offer teardrop implants? Um, they did, but they made it out to be a bit more of a difficult procedure. So when I came to see you, you just said to me, what sort of look are you going for? I wanted to be natural. I didn't want them to look fake. So really, that's ideally what I wanted to go with. And it wasn't a hassle for you at all. You just wanted the best possible results. What did you think of the process itself? I mean, was, was being in hospital and having the operation as scary as you thought? Not at all. So I arrived. In the morning, I was sat waiting in reception. I was taken up to my room, which was lovely. Everyone was so kind and helpful to me. Nothing was a problem. It was really seamless and it all kind of happened quite quickly from when I came in, suddenly I was getting changed. And then I was in the operating theater waking up and it was so great. Any food that I wanted, they were happy to come and give me and that was great. And I, all my painkillers through the night, someone was there for me if I needed, so it was fantastic. And I felt very comfortable. I didn't feel as though I'd been in a hospital environment, which was really good for me. What did you think about um, recovery then? I think for about a week, I was just at home pottering about, so not doing too much. Um, it was about eight weeks until I returned to exercise. I know you said six, but I wanted to make sure everything was fine. And I do play a lot of sports, so I play netball, and obviously I was worried that that was going to put a bit of tension on me, and it's not at all. Um, and I've just slowly built things back up, and obviously put the right things in place to make sure that everything's okay. And how long did you take off work? A week. A week was adequate, wasn't it? Yep, absolutely fine. How soon were you driving? It was 10 days, and that was absolutely fine. Obviously I was a little bit more cautious, and didn't go too far, but yeah, absolutely fine. What did you think of the consultation process? How informed were you? Very informed. So initially I had the open evening and that was great. I came one evening with my sister um, and we sat with you for about an hour and you were fantastic. I think the main thing that did it for me was you were so calm and relaxed and that's exactly what I needed. I didn't want to feel pressured as I had done before. Um, and also because I didn't really know what I wanted in my head. I knew I wanted to go bigger, but I didn't know how big I wanted to go. Um, all your images and your knowledge was really helpful. Did you read up any online reviews or any online websites and so on as well? I did. I had a huge amount of looking online. I'd obviously read reviews about people who'd been similar to me, didn't really know what they wanted. I think it was more as I got closer to the operation, I kept on reading more and more, watching videos about people that had gone to the size that I was maybe considering and what their opinion was. And I think that's when I started to change my mind, do I want to go a little bit bigger? Um, and then that's when I did. I came back one last time before my operation just to solidify what I wanted to do. So you could have had as many consultations as you wanted before surgery. Yeah. How much choice did you have in the size of what you wanted in? I remember you saying to me, I'm not, go I'm not going to let you go too big because that won't look right for you. I appreciate that because I see some people and I think, no, that's not what I want to do. I want natural results. So you've already had the operation. For someone who's watching this who's who doesn't have the recommendation or insider info that you have, what would you say to them? I'd say don't rush into it. It's a big decision. It's not an overnight thing. It's a medical procedure. And I think some people do forget that. And so consider that you are changing your body. So you need to be changing your body for the right reason. Um, and I would say, just make sure you do research. For me, it was location. So being in Sheffield, being close to home and feeling comfortable that I was surrounded by people that were caring for me. What do you think this operation has done for you as a person? 
I just feel more in myself. So I feel like a woman. So before I just felt not, not that comfortable, I'd put some clothes on and think, hmm, wish I had boobs to fit this. Whereas now I feel great. And I'm just looking forward to wearing a bikini. Yeah, so excellent. I just feel in proportion, which is good. Why did you choose the Claremont Hospital after having seen the open evening? How did that help? Location was a big thing for me. Claremont didn't really feel like hospital and I loved that feeling. I felt I was just in a comfortable environment and the care side and also all the recommendations and the reviews I've read into and everyone that I'd had met, so be it yourself, receptionist, um, gainer who'd really helped me, I felt so comfortable and I just knew it was the right decision I was making. Without a shadow of a doubt, I would say to someone, come here, it's been fantastic from start to finish, from the day of my operation to coming back for my review, everyone has been fantastic.